Three Friend Collective, basically an online and possible platform that celebrates, discusses and explores African literature. Um, <coughs> one of the ways that we do this is through workshops such as these. Um, and yes, Henry has introduced himself, I'm Marcel, and then Zahid unfortunately is not with us today. But she will be introducing um, today's session, going through the full text. Afropulse Literature Workshop, Writing Africa, 50 Years. We've designed this workshop to mark the 50th anniversary of some truly seminal texts. We'll be looking at Grace Ogot's The Promised Land, Flora Nwapa's Afuru, a copra text, a Song of Lubino, and the surprise text is Nawal El Sadawi's Memoirs of a Woman Doctor. Through an engaging series of interactive activities, we will explore and discuss the representation of Africa within literature, with specific focus on the place and settings. The two books that I'm going to look at is um, the Furu by Fellow Norma and some of the video. Um, unfortunately, I'm not going to read it on me because it is actually not great. What we're going to look at, and this is what um, this workshop aims to explore, we're actually going to look at um, representation of Africa, so the image of Africa. Whether there is an image or there is an what in that image. So I want you to describe an African setting, whatever comes to your mind, it could be a prose form, whatever. Talk as a group, come together with an idea. So, you know, you're not doing individual work, it's group work, I'm trying to test your teamwork in 10 minutes. So, life for her meant living it fully. She did not merely, she did not want merely to exist. She wanted to live and use the world to her advantage. And this is describing it fully. Yeah, um, the quotation um, makes me envision a woman who's determined to chart her own path despite what society expect of her. Um, that's specifically, um, I guess, um, drawn to the forefront by the fact that she says that she wants to live and use the world to her advantage. Um, I think that most of society would expect a woman to not use the world to her advantage. Um, the fur is still soundly that night. She dreamt of a woman of the lake, her beauty, her long hair, her hair riches. She had lived for ages at the bottom of the lake. She was as old as the lake itself. She was happy, because she was wealthy, she was beautiful. She gave women beauty and wealth, but she had no child. She had never to enjoy a motherhood. Why then did her food watch it? <coughs> and it's, this is the first time that we come to see a food described in this particular way. It is the first time that Noapa actually celebrated who does not enjoy the joy of motherhood, a dichotomy between motherhood and womanhood. So it's true really that strongly compared to mother yeah. and mother nature, you know, which is a, a very strong sort of, you know, female um, attribute, you know, that's looked up to, yeah. and, um, but then perverted because her purpose is not just to reproduce. Yes, knowing that it was set, so the character was set, space, I can sense some inconsistency there, would you say that this is a character with a little space? I'd say, it's, I'd say it's still possible for this to be, for this to be um, in a rural setting, because no matter the location, I think the expectations of how women should live their lives and what they should do is almost the same. It's just how you go about doing it and We're now going to go through The Promised Land and Memoirs of a Woman Doctor. And before we do, like I said before, if you don't remember the introduction that Zahida gave um, in regards to the summaries and the synopsis of each um, text, you have them on your table. So please feel free to refer to them. Also, okay, so The Promised Land was published in 1966 by Grace Ogot. And Memoirs of a Woman Doctor, which is our surprise text, was published in 1958 by Noir El Sadawi. Um, with both of these novels, we're going to be looking at setting. So in the back of your mind, I want you to really think about setting and how it interplays with the quotes we're going to look at and the themes that we're going to be delving into. How does setting influence identity and gender construction? So in your pairs, so if you can get in pairs, I would like you to discuss this question, but I want you to discuss it within your own setting. 
and what you consider identity and gender construction to be. Does that make sense? Consider the rural setting of the promised land. How do you think this affects gender dynamics and the importance of identity? I answer that as well because I'm also a uh, There's a time in Eritrean history where that kind of was upset and in a good way. Um, so around the time of the civil, not civil war, the war for independence, a lot of women were drafted in to fight. And there's a song that I think of which she actually talks about her role before the war and how she was constrained to the home and the kitchen and how the war came along and it was kind of her saviour because she got to go out and battle the field. And there are six points that we're going to be looking at. Um, and the two themes we're, they're going to be touching on is migration and identity. So you'll have three quotes on that, and then the institution of marriage. You have three quotes on that. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to split. So you will be one age, 81, and starts with what makes you think. Yeah, would you mind reading it? So everyone can hear. Yeah. What makes you think that people want to abandon their traditions when they go to a foreign land? Don't you know that our ancestors' eyes follow us everywhere? If you break the law today or tomorrow, their eyes can see you. A month may pass, even a full year, but in the end, you're punished because you promised them the taboos of the tribe. Okay, no. Who has page 102, a uh, quote starting with, Tell me, daughter of. Who has that quote? Tell me, daughter of the lake, are you sure you haven't ever brewed beer before you married me? How could I have done? Yeah, a girl is never allowed to brew beer in her father's home while her mother is still alive. Well, then you are gifted, said Ochala, gratified. This is the strongest beer I have tasted for a very long time. You and I will go a long way together. My friends will be very proud. So Neopold in the Promised Land remembers the woman who is setting um, and the heroine of Memoirs of a Woman Doctor, Sissy. Uh, How is the agenda defined within the assessment? What do you guys I'm, I'm just interested in the quote at the end of this. Yeah. So I, I don't think in a book written in England maybe you would get, why did he lie to me? I wanted to have you, that's ridiculous, I'm not a piece of land. Mm -hmm. And that thing of I'm not a piece Land must come from some argument about territory and things like that. I agree with the sort of what you're trying to say. In the memoirs of a woman doctor, they use more refined words to characterise the woman mm -hmm. as opposed to more rash, abrasive sort of language. I agree. Yeah, I, for example, I saw a documentary about um, women in a rural setting and how the, the husband left to work in the city, so they were left there and they had to be the, both mother, take on father and mother. So they were actually empowered by the move of, this, uh, of the husband. So I don't think necessarily that women in rural settings are by definition like restricted um, or more traditional. It's not like village is always traditional cities is pretty much And I think that, yeah, there's uh, interaction between the two. No, no, I agree, definitely. Actually, um, my yeah, villages yeah. tend to be a lot more domesticated and a lot more um, involved in the preparation of meals. So, for instance, certain my experience of um, I'm from Eritrea going to the villages and the men are a lot more involved in the running of the household than, say, a man that is in, a, in the city of Rome. Mm -hmm. And so I, I agree that females in rural areas maybe have less access to um, opportunities uh, mm -hmm. to develop you know, themselves academically or their minds. But in terms of the, the roles, I think they're far more balanced in more areas than they are and in the city.